Okay, welcome back. We're about 45 minutes into this Pegasus unicorn illustration I'm drawing. This is Jason Knox, jkarttales.com. And we are gonna continue to make these purple, like the uh, uh, outer images, outer um, shapes. Working on the leg now. Just kind of going on all the um, the light blue washes that I've already filled in. So just continue to kind of follow that outline. This is gonna be the darkest area. I'm thinking I might even do another um, kind of a, a, a wash uh, over this these areas here that are already purple just as I might want to go darker but I don't know I'm thinking about it now so I know I'm kind of random not um, not too concerned of following a specific area I just like to stay interested and sometimes I get it inspired by working on a certain area and so I just go over there and do whatever I want you know it's more of a doodle so sometimes I just want to keep it interesting and I, I feel like I want to um, make a different uh, area more developed sometimes I'll just do like the whole head and just finish the whole head without doing uh, any other detail on the illustration just because I just feel like it you know I just you know because sometimes it gets becomes tedious um, I'm trying to get out of patterns too like see them trying to create a pattern here I don't necessarily want a pattern like I don't like to make so maybe I'll, I'll make this longer just so it's it's off see then I don't have like an uh, like one 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 I don't want that so sometimes I'll mix it up just because I want it to be this more of a um, interesting shapes. It's funny because people don't really look at that, but in the overall image of the art, you know, there's so much detail and people wonder, you know, how I come up with uh, different ideas. It's just, you know, I kind of make it up as I go, whatever I feel like doing. Don't put too much thought into it. I haven't decided what color to make the hair yet. I don't know if you've noticed from the last one, I actually added a, 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 some curls because I want to make it a really cool, like a, a three-dimensional looking curls, like the image of Grandpa Leon. If you go on my website, you'll see how I do these really cool curls. And I want to do something similar. And I haven't even figured out what color to make on that. so. Um, I've been thinking about what goes good with purples and blues. Um, gold might be a good one. I was thinking about that. Um, yellows, oranges. Oranges, I think, go really well with blues. Seems like in the past they, they really they really pop like that. So, um, so stay tuned because. <laughs> I will eventually color those in. I just haven't figured out what color. And also the wings. I don't know if you see the wings, but the wings are up here. There's gonna be several layers, like kind of like a an eagle's wing would be cool. Kind of that kind of um, kind of wing, really tough, big, strong. Everything has needs to be strong and powerful on a Pegasus. You know, even the body. I made I, I made a very muscular type uh, body on purpose you know just so it just shows this that the power of this being um, whatever it is uh, I don't know much about mythology or and if that's uh, if there's such thing as a Pegasus 
with the unicorn one new horn on there but whatever just make up I'll make up my own characters I might always do that anyways <laughs> just, okay well whatever it is it is it's a new thing I make up my own mythology just make up my own characters why not what creation is all about. You just create something that doesn't exist yet, right? So it's not in the world, it's in your head. And you have fun just uh, making something out of nothing, out of your subconscious flowing through your fingers onto the paper, and now it exists. And you created that into the world. So I was feeling like, like doing the the nose more so you, you feel like there's a there's, there's you get some power you become empowered when you are creating something that um, is not yet in the world I think it's a very powerful thing it takes a lot of uh, design and intelligence so it's fun to be able to tap into that I think a lot of us say, oh, I'm not creative at all. I'm not a creative person. I know I couldn't do that. And I said, well, have you tried? Like, yeah, I tried. I just do, just do stick figures. So, you know, I think any skill can be developed. Um, you know, like playing the piano or something like that. There's, a, there's skills that can be developed. Uh, that we that, that were there before like sports or something like that. Oh, I'm not coordinated. I can't throw a football. Or I can't throw a baseball. But, you know, if you go out and throw a baseball all the time, every day you go, go out and practice it. I'm sure if you practice throwing a ball every day, if you weren't coordinated and you, and you thought about it and trained your, your mind to say, no, I am good at throwing a ball. I am good at doing that. And you keep throwing that ball, eventually you get better. And you get better and better. And and every day you'll be better than the day before and you can say hey look back after a certain amount of practice and say look where I look how far I've come and I can no longer say I am not good at throwing a baseball because I am a lot better than I was so I just think that yeah I have some natural born talent obviously but I'm not saying you can't develop that over time and practice. Um, you can pretty much um, well, I think you do anything you, you set your mind to. I've always wanted to play a musical instrument. I never did it, but I think I could if I really put my mind to it. I just haven't had that you know, I haven't set side and really had that passion to say I am going to I am going to do this kind of like my art like, even though I was good at it from the beginning you know I had to make the effort to say you know what I am going to do this I'm going to sit here and I'm going to I'm going to learn how to, how to do it better I'm going to be proficient at it and I think I am getting I'm, it's not like I'm, I'm I'm the best I can be I'm definitely way better than I was because I've spent so much time, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of hours of having fun. And you know, that's one thing you have to do too. You have to, you have to have fun at it. You have to enjoy it. That's why I call it doodling because what do you do when you doodle? You're just, um, you're just letting your mind just not putting, putting too much thought into it and letting your, your mind do it and like not overthink things. And maybe that's where you have to start out. Just get a piece of paper and just start making shapes, making different types of uh, interesting designs and not, not necessarily anything in particular. Um, and then you're like, you'll look at something like, oh, it's pretty cool and expand off of that. And then, you know, like when I learn how to draw an eyeball, look at an eyeball, like a, a human eye and look at the colors and look at the like really closely and say well we make a circle so there's all kinds of ways to to learn how to do specific types of talents I'm just rambling here okay so I'm going down on, on the leg now so looking good I'm just uh, 
changing it up every once in a while. Like and when there's a lot of big dark space, like right here, 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 I can do really big ones, like really big uh, blocks. Take up a bunch of space, you know. And if you've seen my art before, it's never really consistent. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll look like, hey, I kind of made a face. Let's go with that. And then you have the hidden image within an image because you just kind of draw a little face here and there. And um, at a first glance, you can't see it a lot of times. But if you look closer, and it's one thing that's cool if you did it, then you can say, hey, look, you see a face in there. It's kind of fun to to have these hidden little ideas that you made. Have a couple of circles, you know, like hey, like a happy face. See, a little happy face. Yeah. You know, it could be making. You know, I, if I could, I, if I wanted to, I could make this thing all out of little hearts or a little whatever. I could make little. Like I said, if you're not, if you don't really want to do necessarily these little shapes, you could do any shape you want. Really, it's just gonna kind of just follow a guideline. Um, you could do like all circles, or maybe just like I could do that. I could do two circles on everything, and I look pretty cool. It kind of like have a bubbly look. It's like a give a bit of a texture, but I think for me it'd be kind of like personally be kind of boring. I don't want to just, just do a bunch of circles. So I like to change it up a bit. So and I never want to get bored. I think if you're, if you're bored doing art, and that's one thing, I, that's why I like these watercolors, the pens, these little pens, because you just whip them out and start making things and you don't have, there's no cleanup or takedown. And uh, it's, it's just really easy to, to, um, get going on it without make, making too many messes. Okay, so yeah, so now we're going on down to the other underbelly of it. I actually was thinking about making these darker too. And that's one thing too, you can always outline yeah, and another, maybe somewhere on this, maybe in the wings, you'll see some, I'll do some really cool feather stuff. It's gonna be a whole different type of, um, texture um, or, or a idea is to make these detailed feathers. So I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is taking all the different um, skills that I've, that I've developed over the years and just going to, just changing it up depending on what I'm doing. But the hair is gonna be different than like say the, the wings and the body is gonna be a little bit different type of technique than um, the hair or whatever. So I, I can decide, I can, I am the master of my own creation. I, I can change it up any, anything I want. I can make little dots. I don't know if you've seen um, Hank the Prankster. Those are all those little dots. That's the first one I did. And I was just like, I'm just gonna make little dots. Actually what I was doing, cause I saw that there's a cover of the, um, the pen set I got at the hobby shop down the street. And I just saw this, like, there was like a little a lizard. It was like, a, I think a, a gecko or, a, or something like that. And someone just did a bunch of dot work on it. And I thought that'd be cool. I could do that. I could do that. And just bought, bought some good paper, make sure you get, um, these are watercolors. So if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do what I'm doing, use watercolor paper. My mom used to get upset because I'd doodle and I'd do a really good job when I was young and uh, and then, but I'd do it on graph paper, line paper, napkin, you know, just like some, some random piece of paper ended up being a really cool image that I just like doodled out and she'd want to save it. She goes, she's like, one of these days, Jason, you're going to do it on a good piece of paper. Do it on a good piece of paper uh, so I can save it. So always, I think, treat your art as if you're going to make a masterpiece or at least have a, have it that you can save it. Because what if you do? What if you end up just making an amazing, amazing thing and, you know, you're going to regret not just getting, having it on the right paper that you could frame it or, you know, 
have it in a, a nicer a nicer medium. Plus with watercolor, actually the, the first, like I think four or five images I did, I didn't think about that. I didn't think of markers as watercolors. I just thought markers, you know, didn't, didn't think of what they were made of. And so I just got some like multimedia paper, medium paper, and what's fine, but it's just thinner. So once I, so look at this, I'm doing little circles there, kind of cool. I like kind of like how I did that. You know, it makes it makes it a little bit different, a little bit different than the typical illustrations. Yeah, so I just like, wait a minute, I should be using thicker paper. I think the thicker the better, anyways, because if you really saturate this paper, it's gonna start to start to warp a bit, and you'll start to take some of the top of the layers off. And the you know, worst thing to happen is you don't want to have to make a hole in your paper or something like that, or or make it so warped that. Uh, it's, it doesn't look good. So um, gets good watercolor paper and uh, start out the right way. Uh, I think a good thing to do is just do exercises with the markers at the first. Like do what, I, do what I'm doing, make a, a, like don't do a Pegasus or don't do something complicated. I'm a little bit different that way. I was always the guy that um, would, uh, in class, I think that's why I, I, I am where I am at this point, is that I would be the one to make it as complicated, like I was kind of showing off, like I could do better than that, and so I'd make a, more, a really complicated piece. Like when I was in uh, a class in college, it was a um, oil painting class, and they just wanted us to do, the, the, the instructor only wanted us to do three different items and it was like a really basic items like a ball or or a, a, ju and a, a jar or some kind of, so i was like well i can do one up on that i'll do three items but it's going to be like the most complicated items i can think of like i always trying to like overdo like outdo or maybe just my ego i was like i want to show off that i could do something more complicated than the rest of the class i mean it's kind of brought me where i am today but um so I did, I had a wallet that had, it was leather, but it had like laces all around it, like shoelace type stuff. And so that was one. And then it was like money coming out, like the faces of the money, like George Washington. And then I had coins and pretty much anything in my pocket. I was like, I'm just going to dump everything on my, in my on, from my pocket onto, onto the table. And that's what I'm going to paint. So I did think about this. Remember the old keys, you know, before the fobs and all these other like keyless things, you know, we had actual keys, cut keys, and they had little names on them, the, the brand name of the company that made the, the, the key in the first place. So I had that, and then I have um, the coins in my pocket and the dates and everything. So I just went to town and then also and that was, if that wasn't enough I did the grain of the wood that it was on and so and that's part of my like showing off type thing is where I'd you know and whenever and people would be watching me doing this like really insane thing and everyone else is you know most people that would take those classes aren't necessarily artists or want to even be in that class it's like they have to do it for you know to be to fulfill a requirement and so people will be looking at theirs like a rock and uh you know some kind of cylindrical object and something kind of boring like why so i'm like i'm gonna find something hard to make it more of a game or a puzzle a challenge for me so even though it wasn't amazing and i, I had i didn't develop the uh techniques that i um, in oil painting that make it amazing I still think I did a pretty good job, and it looks really looks like the, the image, but uh, I really cut off, I really did, I gave myself a really complicated project that it didn't have to be because I, I, wanted, I wanted to be entertained too. I just like, you know, you do your art for yourself. What would you want to do? I, wouldn't, I don't want to do some, some boring object that I'm not really that interested in, so 
I just thought I'd do that. Anyways, it's always funny when they critique that in the class and then everyone puts all their paintings up and they, they talk about it. And I was always excited, like, oh, I can't wait to get some mine, you know. It, and then there's Jason, like a, like a whole different category, like, you know, everybody else is going, oh, wow, you know. So I know it was kind of a, kind of almost like a gloating thing, but, but hey, it kept me going. So, but I would say don't do that <laughs> unless you feel confident you can and you have a lot of time on your hands. I would say start out basic and simple. Make make a really cool, like maybe 3D object. Try to make a 3D or or make do some draw a simple animal that you might like. You know, just a really basic type of thing. And it's okay to trace. That's one thing. I people think, oh, you're gonna cheat if you. Some people who aren't that great at drawing. Okay, so you don't have to actually necessarily have to draw your own, like if you say you want to do a horse like me, somebody wanted to do like the same kind of idea and they like horses, you know, if you can get tracing paper, there's no, there's no like, oh no, you cheated or whatever. Like you got to train your brain to draw that object, right? So um, that draw, draw it the right way. And I did that a lot when I was, when I was younger, I didn't know how to draw these things in my mind. And so I'd, I'd get a magazine if I wanted to draw a woman's face or really accurately or some, like even now, I didn't know how to draw a horse out of my head, but I looked at several pictures and I figured out what I wanted and I looked at it. But even then, like a lot of times people don't, can't do that eye-hand coordination where they look at something and you can draw what they're looking at. So get some tracing paper and put it over an image you like and trace it and then you know you have that image and then I can't remember how you do it after that but you could also do where you do a, a um, overlay or you project something and you trace a projection I've done that another thing you can do it's kind of fun I used to do like you know kind of a paint by numbers thing is you make a you make an image and you make a graph and then you um, on the image itself, and then you just make a graph that's the same type of graph. If you want to make it bigger, make the graph, and then you just go square by square. What's what do you just draw? What's in a square and meet them up like a puzzle, and you can make some really accurate things that way. I've done that with a face before. I want to make sure the nose and the mouth are all in the same place or whatever, like because that's really hard to do if when you first start out. And I traced. That's fine. There's no no. There's not like there's some art the security person's gonna get you can get in trouble because you you cheated there's no such thing as cheating uh i don't think um especially when you're learning how to how to draw because then if you draw that image the first time by tracing i bet you if you drew it again without tracing you'd be able to pretty much draw it so you get to get that stuck in your brain you know you know um how to draw that the more you draw it. Like if I, if I drew this horse several times, like now that I've done elephants all this time, elephants and trees, I can whip out an elephant pretty easily just because I've done it so many times. And that's why it's one of these practice things. Like, yeah, you don't know how to draw something, your favorite animal, but if you kept drawing it, you know, your brain's gonna eventually sink in like anything. It's gonna sink in. It's, you're gonna be able to draw that thing as well as you want. And you, if you, and then you move on to something else. So, um, so if you want to draw something similar to this, but you don't have that skill set, eye hand coordination to look at something and draw it or something dry out of your head, find find an image out there somewhere on the internet. Go go look and find. Go, like for this, I just down. I just look for running horses i search running horses and just kind of like i'm like oh i like that face and i like that body and i took a picture of it and i i examined it pretty closely and then I, and now I've, I've i've done enough of them that i know what i want so i just started sketching the basics of the face um, one of these times I'll, I'll do the, I'll start from the beginning. I just didn't think for, for this starting video, I, I wanted to do an hour of just 
my thought process it's, uh, of uh, how to how am I going to draw this? But I could do that on another image. Um, yeah, see, I even have some insecurities. I'm like, I don't know, because I might, you know, not do it well, and I don't want this to be on video and watch people watching me screw up. So I still have these insecurities. Can I, you can screw up. I mean, but that's what's nice about racing. It's like you can screw up and then you just erase it. Um, it's just great about these pens. I don't know if I told you already, but if you draw, as long as it's not saturated too much with, with graphite, you could draw an, an image and then, and then put some ink on top of it, some watercolor on top of it, and, and then be able to erase through the color you put down. Um, but don't do it too saturated. I've done like, like, a, like an eyeball where I made it really dark and then I put yellow in there and it got kind of muddy from mixing up with it. And even though I got the majority of it out, there's some of it that just, just gets embedded, I think, too far into the paper. So, oh yeah, see what's going on? <laughs> All this talking and I'm just kind of going, on. it's almost like my, I'm, I feel like I'm a little printer myself. Like, uh, it's just kind of going. That's why I call it doodling. I don't have to put too much thought into it now. And it's really basic now. And now I'm just following what I already set out with the with the light blue colors so and just thinking thinking every once in a while if it looks like I'm doing too much of the same thing too many boxes too many of those shapes I'll flip it up like that like so it's funny when you look back like I, I'm really like thinking okay what I'm gonna put here I should put something here but then when you look look at it from a distance when, pe when people look at it they're not gonna know like but I, I think your your brain will like will register. That's why you look at something like, wow, looks really, really unique and different. But you don't necessarily see the very intricate details that the artist did to make it like look different. Different. Your brain will kind of will have the process like all the different um, uh, unusual shapes that made up the one image. And it was cool. I could actually I've done this before. Just a race. Like not even have a border, not even have like a, a line here and just leave it like that. I've done that with a zebra before. It looks so cool. Like it's just the patterns of the of the stripes or like a leopard or just, um, something, so an animal that has a lot of uh, patterns, spots or stripes. I was actually going to think about, um, this is dark in here, I know that. So I just leave it dark. Oh. I don't know if it's male or female, but we'll just make it a uni, unicorn, unisex, <laughs> like whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm rambling on, so I don't, sometimes I don't, I, I derail my train of thought. Probably a good thing. All right, so. Yeah, we're almost doing what the whole body is already done with purple almost so I'm just kind of going along because after I'm done with the purple like all the places I want to have the darker the darker areas then I'm gonna do another wash or I'm gonna actually gonna do yeah, I could do a bunch of like up here. Like I've already done that with the face. I'll do another wash and I could go over this. It doesn't matter. I'll show you that later. You can just go over what you already did with like, even if the, with a colorless blender, like a, it's like just clear water blender and soften them up a bit. Um, but you know, not sure. It's kind of it's funny. You just let your think, Oh, I'll do this to do that. Just tell yourself you're not going to make a mistake because who's going to know beside you and what you might have thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done that, or it's too dark, or it's not, you know, just don't tell yourself that. Because never, never really critique yourself at all, but don't, don't um, give up on something too early just because you think it might be, it might be an exact, not exactly the way you like it. Just push through it, push through it. And I always tell myself, that's why I have, I've been so, 
um, quick in making things because I just say whatever it is it is no one's gonna know but me and at first I might be unsure of it I have some insecurity as to the way it looks and like now like I'm making me a little like I actually want to make it really bushy like almost like a Clydesdale type I like Clydesdales so I like I want to like really big like bushy uh, hair around I think that's gonna look cool around the hooves hooves So now that I did that one, I kind of I'm excited about doing some more here and think about that. So need more more hair on the hooves. There we go. And then got to start working on this one. You start to learn more and more about shading and what what's what what is good to to make dark and what's. Uh, where you want to keep light like anything in the center of the body of course that's going to be the lighter and that's just you know there's a there's a reason why it needs to be more shaded you also need to look at like where your light source is i really don't have a light source on this one because it's going to be more of a you know design it's a it's individual and i wasn't thinking about like making a sun or any kind of any kind of uh thing that's going to be shining on it but so I'm just gonna make the center of light kind of like the center of the body so it looks really three-dimensional. So the center would be like the belly, like everything you see that's still white, it's kind of, I'm gonna keep that the whitest areas. So it's kind of fun to see that. I'm, like, I'm really excited about the next part where I'm gonna do the blues. Eventually I think I'm gonna make the whole thing these, even though some of them will be really light, just uh, dark. I darkened and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a black border okay I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> okay it looks like this is uh, this is probably a hoof and I might, I'm probably working on this back area it's gonna be really dark anyways back here so I'm not too concerned about how messy it looks and I always go back you see guys I can see some holes in it and when if I blow this up which I'm sure I will at one point I'm not going to want to have these little, you can see the little light coming through the hole. So I'll come back and, and fill these in. I might do that off camera, off, off video, because that's kind of a tedious thing, but you can come back and, and just clean up what you did. Maybe even to get a bigger purple, like I'll get my bigger purple one, uh, like a thicker and, and just go do the center mostly. So I don't know, I'm doing a bunch of rectangles all of a sudden. Maybe because I want to make it hairy, that's why. Yeah, see, my, it's funny how you get so used to it in your brain. It's almost like I think when you're walking or when you're when you're running, your, your brain always looks ahead of what's coming next. You already have the image in your head. You already have the idea in your head. So it's just, you're just bringing it out. And I found out that that once you get used to that, you don't have to be so so um, intense in, in making sure you're, you're doing exactly the E shape the way you want it. Because like when you're running, I say you're running on a very rocky surface. Um, and the more you do it, the more you, your brain is looking and calculating um, where to put your foot next. As long as you're kind of staring at it and it's kind of okay that's coming up now there's gonna be a hill right there there's gonna be a couple of boulders right there a stick i gotta make sure you know lift up the leg a little more and after a while it just becomes natural you're you're, you're already you're already making these pre-calculations without putting too much thought into it as long as you're not you know as soon as you look away like oh the sunset's beautiful <laughs> you know you're gonna wipe out because you're not focused it's really good that's what's great to train your brain to be focused on the moment and that's so you don't get injured you know that's why you don't you don't want to get injured you don't want to trip and bust yourself all up on some rocks so you focus on where your feet are but then eventually you can go faster and faster and faster and get better at it and and, and your brain is just like going out knows exactly how to preset your muscles to to land on a rock perfectly so you don't fall off it and it's a skill you learn and you practice all the time and i think the same thing is with with drawing and art is that you uh 
you already know what you want to do. It's already preset in your head what you want to do. And the more you do it, the more you keep uh, focusing on that objective is to make make this art come out. Uh, you almost become like a printer. It becomes like second nature where it's, it's already um, doing the shapes you want and in the spots you want. And it's, it becomes almost miraculous. And you have no idea how powerful your brain and can be especially with creativity like it it you are we are an extremely creative people we don't we have no idea how creative we are yet i don't even know like i i'm still i think i'm scratching the surface of my creativity and the man manifesting whatever i i conjure up into reality and I, the, but the more you practice it the more you focus the the better you become it's inevitable that you become better and that's what that's what life is all about is 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 bettering yourself and what's what's a better thing to do is to better yourself and your creativity because then you have it that's something that you have and that's how you start to really love yourself and instead of saying i can't do that I, I'm, I'm not good enough i'm not you know I just say i'm good i'm gonna get better and i'm gonna get better and every 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 single little stroke you make every little kind of movement you make any kind of dot i make i am literally better than I was before in little micro micro steps <laughs> micro steps but you're still better still better um, and so I, I always think about that too it's like I, I am I am better than way better than I was I've been doing a lot of art for the last two and a half years especially since the pandemic and I thought you know instead of being a being kind of sad and being by myself more and not being being able to do what I normally get to do I'm like well I'm going to use this time to better a skill do something and that, that I'm going to be happy with and it's going to uh, bless my life for the rest of my life and I just had that mindset I'm just going to do it I'm going to do a New Year's resolution I'm going to actually happen right before New Year's when I started getting into my art anyways I'm, and I said I am just going to do one hour of me time art creativity and if you're if you're if your thing is an art maybe it's more like hey i'm gonna write my journal for an hour every day that's all i'm gonna do or i'm gonna write a story i'm just gonna write a story and this or whatever just do something different and you almost have to push yourself like going to the gym like i'm gonna go to the gym and i'm not gonna really gonna work out but i'm gonna just gonna go i'm just gonna walk to the door i'm gonna you know, pop my pillow off my head off the pillow and just uh, before I even know it, show up at the gym, and I'm just gonna do a mediocre workout. I'm just gonna. I'm, but then you once you're there, and then you're like, well, there's no use wasting time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do. It. I'm just gonna do a really good workout, and then I might be, you know, that's because I got up anyways. I'm already here. I'm, I'm paid all this money for this membership. Might as well, you know, do something, make something out of it, make something out of it. So the same thing I think with with my when I was doing my art. Uh, my New Year's resolution is like, ah, you know, I, I don't really feel like it. I'm tired. I don't know, you know, just all these excuses why I, I shouldn't. And then you have to be, you have to like show tough love on yourself. You have to say, no, no, Jason, that's not what you set out to do. You can't just say, no, I, I don't feel like it. Just go do it. And then you will feel like it. Eventually, you just got to get into it. You're going to have to get into that little like mojo mind where, and so I would just go, ah, oh, whatever. I'd just sit on the couch, you know, make a comfortable pace of music, you know, have some good food to eat while you're doing it. Just make, sit and make have a really good environment set up. And then I just started to go, okay, well, I'm going to just do these dots over here, or I'm just gonna just doodle over here and just, uh, you know, and then like, oh, that's pretty cool. I that looks really good. And then maybe I'll go over here and and work on this other thing and then you're like i'm gonna draw this and then you get and then i'll look at the time and i'm getting excited about it and i like the music is playing and i'll get up and then i look at what i've done i'm like wow i really uh did a lot and i'm excited about what i did and then when you go to bed you turn everything off and you go man i had a really productive day way more than i thought i was because you just kind of push yourself into it and not overthink like oh i don't know if i should do it and, you know i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow <laughs> you know what's that one that one from the music man like 
if you build up a bunch of tomorrows, I don't know. I just I remember that there's something he says about that. There's going to be a bunch of empty yesterdays if you keep on there's if you keep on waiting till tomorrow. So do it today. Do it today. One hour. You know, what does it What does it take to do one hour of something for yourself? And it's it's great because it's for you. You know, it's, it, it teaches yourself to love yourself and realize that you can do some cool things. Okay, so I think I'm I'm done with the purples for now. I can always add more. And plus, if if I want to add darker, I could always like make one of the lighter ones more dark. So I'm going to do another blend. I'm going to do this lighter, a lighter color, like a lighter blue. I have two different blues. You have lighter blue, darker blue. I think I'm going to do this one. I think I already did this one actually. So maybe I'll do this one. You know, you tell it's darker, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, does it? So I'm going to go back and just do more. Yeah, this is fine. So I'm actually going to go back in here and, and make this dark that and dab it so I don't I don't want to smear it too much but this is a good way to get rid of some of these, these little white spots too that's one thing I learned doing it more it's like that uh, just keep on doing this kind of art is especially annoying it I want to blow it up it's just to, to keep looking at the little dots and every time you see a white dot that needs to be covered up a little piece of paper that you don't want white just keep hitting it a little bit so eventually you'll, you'll get them all so then I don't want, I'm not sure. Yeah, so I'll make this darker, of course, because I'm going to do, do lighter blues, continue this up here. So I'm just, I'm using the, the bigger brush. That's what it really feels like watercolor because you're using a bigger brush. So it's, like, it, it's a brush, but it's in a pen form. Which I, it's so much better. Imagine if I had to do this with just like dipping it in, in water and paint, like these old, those old watercolors. Well, they have them now, but you know, that would be pretty uh, monotonous, I would think, and inconsistent. So I'm going to go and just do a quick um, extension of the blue, just because I want to do another a lighter, a lot the, the, the other blue marks in here. A little more. Not too concerned about smearing too much. If you move fast, you know, because the stuff is dried already, so if you move really fast with these, you're not going to do too, too much smearing. You might change the, the, get a little bit of the purple if you do too much uh, on the on the blue, but oh well, you just have a little bit of every once in a while. You'll have a little darker blues here and there. It might be cool in the long run, so. I wouldn't be too, sometimes I do a little smudging and you'll see in my art, I, there's a little smudging here and there, but you know, who cares? Maybe that's the way I want it. <laughs> but it is what it is. So just keep going at it. See, now I'm kind of picking at it because I don't really necessarily want to see that white like that. I just want to dab at it. So it's kind of, you just kind of change it up as you go. So I hope I'm not blocking myself here. So, so here we go with the, uh, More of the the blue and back here. Anyways, like once you get um, more confident with the brush, you can move a lot faster. Like I move pretty fast once I know what you know, what, exactly what I'm doing for the most part. Um, I can just really move the color because this is such a light color. That's what's um, more like a wash. Um, this, I'm, I'm not going to probably not have going to have much white in this, if at all, in this image anyways. So it's going to be all a wash at one point. It's all going to be color at one point. See, I even purposely made it a little bit darker here by dabbling it because I know that's going to be really dark and here it's going to be really dark so I'm going to you know I can dabble it even more just make it see how it's like blending now so now I'm actually going to 
decided, this right now decided <laughs> that it's gonna be dark anyways. I'm just gonna dab it. Dab, I'm dabbing it because I don't want it to smear. I still wanna have to keep the, uh, the shape of, of these purple shapes intact and not smear it too much. So if I wanted to, if I really wanna make a deal, I can go back and, and touch it up and make it even darker and really sharpen it up. I don't think I'm gonna though. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna have a stopping place here. I think I'll stop at, at this point where I'm starting to like, I kind of like, see, I always like, like to stop at a place where I'm interested in going. Now I might kind of want to keep going, but I don't want to make this 15 hour video. So I'm gonna stop with this. Kind of like that, I'm dabbling, see how dark I got that. And I could do that over here too. I can start dabbling. When I get back and make kind of a cool the, the shading part, see I'm, I'm still not messing up the, and I can dabble the areas that are white at the same time really quickly. I can really get this moving. So that's something else I can do. And I can go back and start doing the other blues. So now if I get bored, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to make squares and circles and whatever anymore. I kind of want to move on. You can do this. And who knows, I might be like, you know, I just want to start working on the hair or the wing next. I get bored. So, so anyways, so yeah, looks like things are really coming together. I'm excited with what, what I'm, what I'm working on. I hope you guys are either entertained or learning some, some new skills in, and, uh, hope you're going to have some time to yourself to be able to start your own project. Um, I'd like to hear from you if you want to uh, blog me or show me something you're working on. Um, I'm sure I'll, I might, I don't know if I have something set up now, but I can, start uh, sharing sh uh, maybe some ideas, if you have some questions, I'd love to answer some. So anyways, I uh, hope you have a, a creative day and and uh, get have, at least have fun watching the, the images I'm doing. Of course, these images are all gonna be um, online on different product, um, different um, merchandise and, and whatever, Whenever you want to have it on, if you if you really like this image, you can have it. And pretty much anything you can think of. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, um, um, good day for now, and I'll pick it up from where I left off next time. Goodbye.